into the woods. Here we got, obviously, the brown wolf here, and we got Q the second here. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I appreciate you coming through, man, and dropping some merch off. Y'all see it, y'all see it right here. You see it on my Absolutely. man here. Check it out. Check he it out. He repping his stepping. I love it. Imprint. Live and living color, baby. I love it. I love it. So, you know how we get down. We get to know the guests. So, my first my first question for you is, um, who were you Who were you as a kid, Q? Like, were you playing around a lot? Were you in trouble? A quiet, nerdy type? What, what, who were you as a kid? Man. <laughs> as a kid, man, I was always like the class clown, bro. Word. Um, were you always, class clown that got in trouble or just clown? I was the class clown. I couldn't stop singing. Class. I got my. I got called probably from like first grade to like probably my senior year. I got a call home like every day. Like, <laughs> <Goodness> <laughs> like gracious. can you get them stop singing? And me and my mom had like this thing. Yeah, she go on the phone like, "Come on, bro." I'm like, "All right," but I gotta act like I'm in trouble. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I got you. I got you. Because it's like she know. Like you can't help that you. You can't help that you just keep on. Uh, yeah. You sing, I sing all the time. I can't help it. So that's why I'm a songwriter. Yeah. All day I'd sing melodies and uh, that's all I do. Yeah. So when you were singing back then, were you like OJ's type stuff or you were singing nah, like No, bro, I started as a soprano singer. I used to sing Michael Jackson. My oh, uncle used to play the guitar. Like Jackson 5 type vibes? Jackson 5. So my wow. uncle used to play his, he taught himself how to play the guitar and he used to have these songbooks of like the Jackson 5 and Stevie Wonder and the Beatles. Wow. And shit like that. So he would play. And I would sing along the words. Oh, wow. And I was, I learned tone and tonality and all that stuff real early. Yeah. Um, wrote my first song when I was seven years old. Dang. Um, yeah. Wow, that's, that's been deep in you. That's dope. You said that was your dad? No, that was my uncle, oh, my uncle. dad's brother. Okay, okay. So you were talking about your mom early, uncle now. So you come from a family of musicians? Kind of. It's kind of unlike my uncle. So I had an uncle mm -hmm. who taught me how to sing. Okay. And then my mom has a brother He's actually out here in Shreveport. That's part of the reason why I'm out here. Right. Um, he is a rapper, and he kind of brought a rap influence into me to be a purist with rap and stuff like that. I drew. I grew up off uh, Tribe Called Quest and De La Soul. One of the members of De La Soul just recently passed away. Mm. Um, what was his name? You know, I don't care. Um, I name. forgot his name. His name was. Some uh, piece to him. Uh, <laughs> oh man, plug three, plug two. Okay. We had to check him out. Yeah. Rest in peace to him for sure. For sure. Yeah, so, man. When you were talking I about singing. Plug too. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, he had a heavy rap influence over me. Mm. Wu Tang Clan. Like he didn't let us listen to like bullshit rap. Right. Okay. Like, yeah. Something like, with a message. He was like, nah, y'all can't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turn that shit off. We can't listen to that. So yeah. If you, if you couldn't like really rap and spit and mm. it, didn't, it didn't work. So that's where I learned how to rap. So I learned how to use wordplay and I learned singing earlier. Now I used to rap a, a, a while ago. Like when you see me perform, I rap a little right, bit. Yeah. Um, hey, but yeah. now it's more tongue until I'm uh, like a melody thing. I'm mixing two together with the wittiness of rapping and spitting and stuff like that. That's and amazing. now with a, mel with a melody. So it's cool. Yeah. That's really cool, man. Cause when you were talking about singing and rapping before, it made me think of like Jodeci, but you're on a deeper level with that, which a lot of, I don't know where a uh, tribe called quest is from, but that sounds like the, the deep stuff from there was something like the East Coast type stuff. Yeah, from New York. Yeah, I got you. And then uh, I don't think you said it yet, but you were from California on the West Side. Yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. I got you. Dare I got Heights. you. So you got a little East Coast influence on you from mm -hmm. West Coast, and now you're in the dirty South. So, so uh, like, so yeah, what what are you trying to bring here to the South? I know you're from the West Coast and you're here now. So what's what's the uh, um, motive? We're trying to bring eyes to Shreveport. Mm. Um, I've been visiting here as a kid. Uh, right. This is the third biggest gambling like gambling yeah. hub in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't get enough. You don't see a lot of artists coming through here. That's real. Um, That's real. It doesn't get enough attention. Mm -hmm. We're trying to bring some attention to Shreveport, Louisiana. Okay. And when you, you said we, who, who was we? Money Counter Music Group. Money Counter Music. That's the people group. that I'm rocking with. Uh, shout out Zilla. Shout out Miss Renee. Uh, and the people that I work with. Right. Um, yeah. Great people. Um, we open in a studio out on Juella, uh, the Money Counter Manor. Mm. We're going to be opening that soon. We got two different studio rooms. Wow. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. It's going yeah. to be a dope dope vibe. <laughs> Everybody, artists, if you're checking it out, come check us out. The okay. Money Counter Manor, right on Juella. Okay. You said Money Counter Music Group. Is that a label? Or what? How you yeah, that's classify a label. that? It's that's a label. a label. Okay. Right on. Now, how many artists y'all have on there? Uh, right now, I'm, 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 it's only like three of us. Three? Um, I'm one of the main ones that we're pushing right now. Okay. Um, but it's about three of us. We're, we're looking to load our roster up. 
Mm-hmm. Um, we're looking for a lot of talent out here. It's so like that's why we did that um, Powerball showcase. showcase. Right we're on. looking for talent, mm-hmm. um, and we found a lot of you. But that's where I met you. Right. Um, yeah. So we're just trying to trying to spread love. I'm trying to show the knowledge I have, um, give it to some other people, and, and and just trying to make it grow. Okay. Within those three artists, is it all the same genre of music, or what's no, going on? No. Um, I'm man. I'm married with. Four kids, dog. I make love songs now. Oh wow! Okay. I don't. <laughs> I'm not in clubs. Okay, and shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. I make love songs and about ups and downs and throughout relationships and shit like that. That's, okay, that's what I'm on. That's a um, I got a, I got the other artist that we got, um, Zilla, mm-hmm. uh, who's also the owner of the label. Man, mm. he's on. He on some different shit, dog. Really? Yeah. He a rapper, dog, but he got. He raw, huh? He, he he a dog. Okay. He a dog. He from here. He from Shreveport. Mm-hmm. Like he a dog. Okay. Um, and then we also got Dames, and he's like a he's like a lover boy, but he from the streets. It's hard. Mm. Okay. It's hard. It's it's dope. Okay. It's so who dope. came up with the name Money Music Group? Money kind of music. Yeah. Um, that would be Zilla. Okay. Yeah. So did he recruit you? So you say nah, he from man. here? How does this? How did that? That's actually happen? my cousin. That's your cousin. Yeah, we are right family. On. Okay. Oh, I act, well, I'm good. actually the one that kind of got them into rap. I told you I've been doing this a long time. True, true. So growing up, I'm looking at these guys like, man, they kind of cool. Yeah. Like, y'all, y'all, y'all want to rap? And they're like, nah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. 15, 16, y'all want to rap? Nah, we don't want to. And Dame, yeah, yeah, well, Dame yeah. kind of took a love to it. And then one day they hit me up around 2013, 14 maybe. Mm-hmm. And we started recording. And then they just oh, were rolling real. ever since. Wow. So, yeah, bro. Dames is your cousin, too? Yeah, they both oh, wow. my cousins. Oh, they brothers. Thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of remind me how, like, I heard before how Master P had this rap and he got his brothers into it. So, that's really cool. You got your family into it. Y'all making money together. That's really dope, man. Yeah, man. That's really cool. So, uh, cool. Yeah, so I met you at the... Well, actually, well, I was in the showcase, but... um. I met you at a talent show before that, that Wretched City Music Fest thing Correct. they had downtown or whatnot. But uh, so how did the showcase come apart? Was that your first showcase you ever done? or No. So I've been doing shows like this in Los Angeles for a while. Oh, wow. um, I've sold out, sold out like the Knitting Factory back when that was open, the Key Club. Mm, um, I've done before. the El Rey. Um, I've done like, um, what is that? The Whiskey A Go-Go. All those like famous those ones places. on the yeah. sunset. I've sold those out, and I've, I've been those other parts. Yes. Wow. Um, so that was kind of um, natural to me. I've been doing that since I was 18. Um, so that was, we, I just brought that formula out here. Yeah. Um, and we're kind of trying to do it more often out here mm. um, to get not only just to keep people keep performing, mm-hmm. um, but to keep showing new talent. That's how, like I said, we're, we're a record label, so we're always looking for talent. Right. Um, and we're looking at help people out out here with the knowledge that we know, the connections that we have. Right. Um, it's a hub. We're trying to make it a hub. So, yeah. Cool. Bang. So, uh, so just for the people, so the winner of that showcase, what was the prize? Um, so they got up to $10,000 in prizes. Okay. Um, we're going to still have him set up his video. We're going to set up his video. What was the name? His name is Cameo. Cameo. Man, dog is, he hard. Yeah, bro. that was a good song. I was there, so he yeah, hard. I got to hear it. Yeah. And I think, I don't, we haven't discussed on which video he's going to do it for. I think he should do it for one of these. We we discussed it, so mm-hmm. I hope he does it for the one I think it's gonna be. It's a it's a it's a it could be hard. Yeah, and he lives um, here in Shreveport as well. He's he's from Shreveport as well. Okay. Tight artist. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of dope artists come out, bro. Yeah, I met I met him. I met him, man. So y'all gonna keep in tabs with everybody. Absolutely, and, absolutely. Know? Twin City, the little um, the the two females, they're they're good. The Twin yeah. City girls. Uh, yeah, I saw them from Monroe, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know I from from Shreveport. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they were dope, man. And uh, I'm glad y'all did that because that showed real talent. And, like, I know y'all did. That was, like, a three-day, uh, how many days was it? It was It was actually one event, but we threw, we do like we did, like, an audition and let everybody come out mm-hmm. and audition. And we did um, um, rehearsals and things like that. We wanted we made it feel real professional okay. um, because we, we are professionals. We want people to, to act professional. This is what you do. This is what, it doesn't matter if you're from a small town or from, you still have to be polished. Right. Um. We're just trying to just make this a factory, man. Right on, right on. So we got you, Zilla, and Dames. So uh, who, who you you said Miss Renee? Who else is on the label? And like, what what all do the entails? What's all a part of the label? I guess what the, the different roles and different things. 
Well, Zilla, he's the CEO. Mm-hmm. Um, Renee, she's the CFO. Okay. Um, myself, I'm like head of A&R. Okay. Um, as well as like I'm an artist as well. Okay. Um, Dames is just an artist at the moment. Um, we're still bringing everything. We're still building. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just trying to figure our pieces out and everything. Um, trying to make it make sense. So if you are somebody, if you are a cameraman, mm-hmm. um, if you are um, a sound engineer, right? Um, not only an artist, we're looking for all types of artists. If you paint, um, if you act, come reach out to Money Counter Music. We're looking for for a way to uh, to put this all together. Right on. So how, how was the best way to reach out for you? Um, they want to uh, help out. To reach out to me if you want to be a part of this. Um, I'm on Instagram or Twitter. You could follow me at Q the second. That's Q T H E I I Q the second Q T H E I I. You could follow me. Um, hit me up. I'm very easy to reach. I don't have any followers, so I will. <laughs> uh, I got hacked by some Jamaicans at like 300 followers. So, you know, I feel a little special. I'm gonna put that in there. Hacked at 300. Uh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> For sure, yeah, whatever, by any means, that's dope, I got you, I got you, man. So let's get into your artist career, man. So you said uh, you were a songwriter as well, so yeah. you wrote all your songs? Yeah, I write uh, all my songs. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't produce all of them. I produce maybe 25% of them. Mm-hmm. Um, I work with a producer called right now, my man out of uh, the uh, IE, like San Bernardino, his name is uh, Cloud 10. Okay. Um, right now he's in Vegas doing his thing. All right. Uh, but that's my guy. Um, yeah, Cloud Ten. That's my main producer right now. I, I get a lot of beats from um, uh, Lexi Banks. Um, that's where I get a, a majority of my beats from too, as well. If I don't make it, um, but yeah, okay. so it's kind of like a, a in-house thing as far as my writing goes. Yeah, I want more writers. Um, I love to collaborate. Yeah, for sure. For um, sure. I feel like I mean I get kind of repetitive. I love collaborating and getting other ideas and saying things different because I yeah. wouldn't say it that way. Um, man. Some good things coming, honey, and have already been happening. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Like how I met you, I saw you perform, and I said, dog, I wrote a rock song this morning. <laughs> you look like the perfect nigga to sing. Yeah, it. we're getting in the mix. <laughs> get in the mix, man. That's why I'm Let's waiting see. for the studio to come up, dog. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I'm excited for I'm excited for Shreveport. I'm excited for Cause I don't really know too many labels here, you know. what I'm saying I don't really know too many people who are supporting the artists. There's a lot of like, I guess you call, it, and no offense, there's a lot of in, little Indians, a lot of people who are trying to do their own thing. But I love that y'all are looking to collab and really just shine. You know what I'm saying? Make make the you gotta shine. you can only you only make uh, nobody nobody successful makes it by themselves. Right, right, right. You gotta have a crew. You gotta have a clan. You gotta have a family. You gotta have somebody that can support you. Mm-hmm. Um, like that you can feed off of. And that's the kind of energy that we're trying to have over at uh, with the money counter. Um, we want people with high energy, um, mm-hmm. people that are hungry, that want to do it. Um, people that don't necessarily, it's okay to ask. I don't know how to do it. Right. Um, that's okay. Well, let's, but the kind of people that want to figure it out. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, and different. Mm-hmm. But what's the same thing over and over? Not at all. You know, we're trying no. to break through. We want something different. Yeah. And I remember I saw you, uh, y'all at Rock the Clock too. So it's really cool. Y'all get to, y'all are part of, y'all are part of Street for y'all doing events and, and part of the events and stuff. So it's really cool to see. I love to see y'all out, man. Cause I'm like, man, cause I can see the family. Cause I don't just see you. I see, I was like, oh yeah, I, there's everybody I saw at the showcase. So yeah. y'all move as a unit, man. And, and that's really beautiful as well. So. What was that? Was it a Corvette? That uh, was that Zilla? I don't know if I met Zilla or not, but he had the white. Cor- was that a Corvette that I was outside? I think that was an I eight. Okay, okay, yeah. BMW I eight. Oh, okay, man. Shoot, I don't know my cars, but I know that thing was beautiful, man. I <laughs> thought it was beautiful. I remember we were walking out. He was like, "Man, I want, I want everybody to get something like this." So I was like, "All right, I see the dream. I see the vision, man." And, it, and it's beautiful. beautiful. He got, he got, he got a vision, dog. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a genius. He he got a vision. Yeah. Like that's funny because you were talking about how you hit him up first and now he's like, oh, yeah, he so plan. how it is is I'm a I'm I was an artist and I would bring him on like as a feature artist. Mm. And I would I left to go to Vegas and he started doing his own thing. Um and he just he just blossomed. He started to see things different. He started mm. he started to see like you to do the to do what we do, yeah, you gotta be crazy. 
Very and much he so. started to talk to me as crazy as I as I talk to people. And he like, oh, I started to see it like, oh, yeah, God, he is crazy as I am. You gotta be, you gotta feel like you one in a million in order to do this. True. And you gotta be nuts to be yeah. one in a million. True. <laughs> True. I get the advice you tell me when I see it, and I'm like, oh yeah, he on it. And he, he knows the stuff for real, for real. And like, it's a lot of individual access to people, but you, like you said, you gotta. You gotta be crazy. You gotta be crazy to believe you gotta, that you are gonna make it. Like you go, you gotta like. Yeah. You know how many people tell you a day like you still doing this? What the fuck you mean I'm still doing this? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you keep hitting them. Yeah, right across there. You keep. You got stuff coming out. That's why I do this podcast. I do my music. Shout out to Brown Wolf, which is me, obviously, and doing. They got two rock songs out. So we all trying to make it, man. And I'm glad that uh, you're on here today. So because I want to share your dream as well and share your music as well, man. And. Uh, uh, Money kind of music group. I, I'm I'm expecting to see great things. I know y'all got great absolutely, things coming, absolutely. Man. So what was the transition? Because so you didn't always make love songs, right? Um, yeah, I did. That's how I. Was, oh, man. you started out so making love songs as well. Seven years old. Mm-hmm. I wrote nothing but love. Songs. What does seven year old know about love? Goodness dog. gracious! I wrote at seven years old. I wrote. A, I did have a, my mom got it somewhere. So on a cassette tape. It's like a song, a mixtape of like four to six songs, mm-hmm. all like I would. I got one, I'm recording a couple over like a keyboard on a karaoke machine. I used to have the karaoke machine where you record oh, at two okay. times. Yeah, so I yeah, had yeah. two mics. I'll put one on my keyboard and do like a, a March 10 beat and then <laughs> okay. <laughs> on a okay. Casio. And then uh, I'll have the other one, I would be able to do the vocals and I would just sing songs. Yeah. And then I did uh, what over a uh, little, my sister, my I got older brothers and sisters and shit. So my sister had a little camp CD. Mm. And it had fucking oh, instrumentals crazy. on it. So I got a couple songs over some little Kim instrumentals too yeah. to sing it. But that shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely singing off of her beat. For sure. Yeah, so that was like when I was dead, I did a little like competitions and shit with my uncles and shit. Mm-hmm. But um that kind of like I was singing, I was like in the in like choir and shit like that in middle school. But my my voice started to change. I was a soprano yeah. singer. My voice started to change and shit was getting real cranky. Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah. Like, ah, I'm out of here. And then, you know, when you like in middle school, everybody in circles and they're rapping and shit. Exactly, yeah. So you hop in and I'm just, number one, I was funny. So okay. I knew music and I was funny. So I could talk about somebody and make everybody laugh. Uh, and then <laughs> do it musically. And do, yeah. it, do it musically. Yeah, which is even so, better. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I, that's how that kind of started. Um, freestyling and shit. Yeah. Um, niggas can't freestyle now though. But <laughs> but you know, like that's how like we used to rap about fat girls with skinny feet and shit like that. Oh, like man, we, y'all was was, we was we was we was y'all like was in the wildin'. ninth grade, tenth grade. Yeah. And then eleventh grade, one of the homies, uh shout out C Sam, man. Mm-hmm. He's actually a writer on uh rap shit right now on oh, HBO. I heard about that, yeah. And he was a writer on Insecure. C Sam, he was the first niggas we saw. He came out in uh he wrote, he did his first uh, mixtape. He's saying it, Ed, both of them actually writing the shit too. Shout out to them niggas though. Mm. Shout out to them. Yeah. Real though. Uh, so they started, uh, they had this little mixtape, nigga, and we saw them do it. It was like, oh shit, we could do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was just, we was 16. That was just a fire. Me and my, me and my two other homeboys was called 1989. We was a rapping trio, dog. Mm. Uh, doing our thing, man. We won a couple competitions. Wow. Uh, Never got like no label love or nothing like that. Um, we kind of broke up, but mm-hmm. still, I was always producing and writing. Yeah, um, we had a few, and we had so much shit recorded and written, and when yeah, shit of course, fall of off, course. it's like, ah, oh, what I'm gonna do with all this music? <laughs> so then, uh, I started doing this other rapping shit mm-hmm. by myself, um, and then uh, they was they, for years because I'm a I'm an R and B guy. Yeah, but for years they was like seeing, try to like yeah they call, like, calling it out of you and I'm like nah dog yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a purist mm. like I like so if you yeah. can't really sing don't sing I'm not the I'm not a, I'm not you. a great vocalist at all I got you I got you. I can hold saying. a melody and under, you understand what I'm saying I'm more uh-huh. like a it's more like a poet I'm like the black Frank Sinatra type shit I'm about to swoon you okay I can swoon you there you go there you go <laughs> there you go that shit crazy dog yeah. Shout out to um, Valentine's Day being yesterday. I absolutely. Like it. I like it. Everything's I'm coming here, together. I'm here for the romance and shit and all that love. We need that, man. Um, we, I'm so glad you said that because 
this generation needs that for sure. So, but I I, I wasn't like a vocalist singer. Mm-hmm. I was like, nah, that's disrespect to what singing is. Right, right, right. So then I did it on a song or two, mm-hmm. and did it, and it was kind of cool. Yeah, and I was doing it my way, like I was rapping still, but I was singing as I wasn't, well. I wasn't singing like Ooh Baby, like, but it was still it was yeah. still raw. So I'm like, oh, that's the that's that's my pocket. Yeah, and that's where I kind of came up with it. I call it it's, it's R and B. I call it Ratchet and Blues. That's my own little style. Don't say that too much, man. You need to coin that. I like that ratchet <laughs> and blues. I like you in a you in a good spot for the ratchet part for sure. Bring the blues in for sure. That's dope, mm-hmm. man. So you're an artist as well. So do you have any? I know you were talking about your uncle. You probably answered this question already, but just to hear from your mouth, who are your music mentors? Uh, my music mentors, like physically. So I know there's great artists out there, but people man, who like pour into your Preston life. Preston Glass. He mm-hmm. actually married my me and my wife. Okay. Preston Glass. Jazz producer, mm-hmm. really, really big uh, music mentor of mine. Okay, um, where's he at now? He's in Los Angeles still. Okay, still doing his thing, mm-hmm. still making albums, still doing his thing in jazz. Okay, um, and that's part of like my love for jazz and 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 it, it's it's deep. Oh, like, I see now. I see how it's all coming together now. Yeah, that's and that's and a creative um, and uh, individual individualistic sound. I like that. Absolutely, and then Tony Haynes. Um, He's a songwriter. He does, he does he works in film as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's one of my uh uh mentors. Uh one of my producers, Aaron Harris, uh 74th Street. That's one of my mentors as well, bro. Um mm-hmm. shit, my uncle, dog. I go to him whenever I'm still. Still, still do. I like, love he that. Know, he knows music. His doors it's are open a, for you. A, That's good. It's a difference. He He is music. Yeah, it's yeah. a different one. He is you music. Got a question, like, yeah. You know, and and I love that because, like, I meet artists around here, and when you get it, you get it. Like, when artists talk about what they do, it's almost like they leave their body. It's almost like, man, is they, they are their art. You know what I mean? It's nothing yeah. like, oh, let me describe this day for you. No, it's me. I'm just telling you what I love. I'm telling you who I am, and it's like, oh, yeah, I get you now. You're going to make it because it's not it's not a gimmick. You know what I mean? At and, all. Like this, no, really, no part this, of it is a gimmick. This, this you know what real. I'm saying? Like, when I first did the... I mean, this may sound crazy, but this definitely gonna sound crazy. But when I first started doing music and stuff, I had one of my best friends, well, actually, Shana D, she was like, you should uh, should put a, wear a wolf head. I was like, yeah, that's cool, but I am the wolf. Like, it's, it's nothing. I'm why not I trying gotta, to bring a, why I gotta a story wear a wolf to head? it. No, yeah, I am that guy. This is me. You know right. what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to pose or, I mean, I am an actor, but I, when it comes to that music, I'm just living myself. I'm telling my own story. So, that's really, and like I could hear while you're talking about it, and when I talk to Tremaine about it too, is this is this is us. Like we're giving the extension. This podcast is extension. We're not of trying me. to do shit. Yeah, we are doing. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> it's, you, you, it's, it's, it's us, man. So I asked Kadavian this, but I'm asking you this as well. Kadavian is my last guest. If you don't know, he's a okay. visual artist. He does a lot of murals and stuff in town. He does some really great murals in town. It's great. So if you ever need some visual art for your music videos, we will give you the information, and we'll, we'll hook y'all up. I for do sure. definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah, I love, he's like, amazing. I'm trying to bring, so, like I mentioned, we were going to do, um, I want to do a documentary um, for my next album that I'm making. That's the Manners Up. So that's what I'm shooting. Documentary out. of? Of me creating my, my album. Okay, okay, yeah, dope. My debut album. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm looking for some really, some artists yeah. to help me bring my vision to life. Yeah. I want really I want some really artistic shit. Yeah, we're gonna link um, you up. I'm gonna link you up for sure. Like like I don't I don't want no basic like nah. dark room, booty Nobody shaking all the lights. <laughs> I mean, I ain't nothing wrong with that. I love tip drill. That's my favorite video. But <laughs> please don't bring my mind to that for sure. <laughs> but I'm saying I, stuck there. I want some artistic shit. Yeah. I want I want some I want to I want you to make I want some some classic like artistic like a vibe. Know, like, yeah, hell you yeah. Come up with that. Yeah. Like so, we got you, so look, hit me up. If y'all Check this out. If you are like a, a creative um, and you're looking to do some like creative shit to some music for some music videos, I'm trying to make music movies, bro. Mm, Little three, like three, four, three movies. to five minute movies. Um, yeah. Hit me up, dog. At Q the second. At Q T H E I I. Actors, all that. I, w- I don't even want to be in most of the videos. Mm. That's what. That's the type of art, the artist, artistic shit I'm on. I don't even want to be in the videos. Man. I want a couple. I want a couple uh, animation videos. Like I really want some the whole joint. Music movies. So hit me I like up. That you said that that's really cool, man. So that you've been in Shreveport for a while. Um, 
and obviously you've been in LA and been to Vegas and stuff. What do you grade Shreveport on as a uh, music artist? Not an individual person, but an artistry and music as a whole. Man, the scene is an F, but the artist is an A. The artists are an A. Like I've met some really talented creative, like for real. Like if you say you rap, it's rap. Like if mm, you say yeah, you sing, yeah. y'all sing. Yeah. Like, this shit is tough. Man. Yeah. I got you. It's tough. I got this nigga. If y'all know Jay Brown. Yeah. What is he? Violinist. Yep. Yeah, I saw him perform Brown, one day. Bro, yeah. My nigga is tough. He performed with me at the uh at the showcase. At the showcase yeah, I saw dog. That. Yeah. Man, me and him about to do some crazy shit. Yeah. I've seen him. I saw him perform nigga, two days ago. That nigga ago. cold, dog. He is so, he's a he's a solo artist. Mm-hmm. He's a violinist. I'm yeah. Like, dog, you know how, you know you're supposed to be in the front and not in the back? Right. The nigga cold, dog. Yeah. 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 So as far as artistry, the niggas I met out here, dog, y'all, this shit is, that's why, that's, that's why I'm about to bring, make this motherfucker a hub. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that will help the scenery we're talking about. Is Man, this making artists it to a hub. out here. Yeah. And yeah, and we've talked about that. It's really the connection that we need. It's, it's, we all are artists, great artists, and now we need the the hub, the family to come together, which I believe a label is. You know what I mean? A lot of resources in it. Build this so. fucking city up, dog. This yeah. A city full of artists. Right on. So what is your, uh, I talked about your mentors before. What 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 kind of advice do you have for young artists around here? Um, Yes, man. Don't ever stop trying. Uh, don't give up, bro. Don't listen to what people, don't put, let people put their fears on you um, to kind of slow you down. I've had I've had a lot of things kind of slow me down, but I ain't never quit. Right. You know? Like I've had, I've got four kids, I got a family, I got a wife. Mm. Nah, dog, this is what I do. Yes, it's, always, it's always what you come back to. Mm. So if you know, if you know, if you know you're right, don't go left. I love that. No, you're right. Don't go left. That's dope. That's a bar. I love that. That's dope. Because your family supports you as well. Yeah, bro. Uh, your kids, are they in music? Or what they, what they can do? Uh, they go to? in the house. They sing melodies all day. Um, That's if, amazing. If, if, it's, if it's what they want to do, you know. They just like you then, singing melodies. Yeah. Huh? That's dope. All day. But if <laughs> yeah. it's what they want to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help them. Of course. Give them what I know. I don't know everything, but I'm mm-hmm. going to give them what I know. I know a few people that can, you know. Yeah, but if it's not what they want to do, not at all. I want I want my kids to be happy. I don't want to force feed them in. You doing what I'm doing? Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Do what y'all want to do. Y'all want to paint. Y'all want to mm-hmm. be a doctor. Y'all want to pedicure feet. Do whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Just make them happy, man. Yeah. Because the father should. You better be the fucking be. best at it, though. Exactly. You better be a dog. <laughs> at it. You better be a wolf at it. You better be a wolf at it for sure. For sure. For sure. What is the segment of the podcast? Um. I get everyone to write an advice, some advice to somebody. Um, they don't know who they're writing it to. It's, it's usually to the next guest. Um, so Kadavian wrote it. He didn't know who he was going to, but I have it right here for you. So if you don't mind taking a second to read it out loud and, and you can hold on to it, it's yours. What up? Trust your gut. Follow your interests. Keep God first. KD. KD. Man, that's, every time we do that, it always goes exactly what we were just talking about. How you yeah. talking about follow your gut and, but if you know it's right, don't go left. So I love that. So, all right. Well, why don't you already talked about how to reach you? You got uh, Money Counter Music Group. Q the second. Um, is there any other things platforms that people can reach you out on? Uh, Money Counter Music Group dot com. Um, at Q the second on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, shit, and interact with me. Follow me. I got you. I already did the showcase. Do y'all have any other events coming up? Uh, we actually got a we got another one that we're working on. We got we're trying to set it up to do them quarterly. Oh, uh, we're wow. trying to get them bigger and bigger and bigger. We're right. trying to bring some artists down here as well. Okay. Um, to kind of I'm, I told you we're trying to bring it bring it a hub here. So we're trying okay. to get some artists to kind of come down here and and see some of have their team see some of these artists down here. Right. Let's make some money down here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, just for a heads up for the artists, do they need anything to be a part of the showcase? Um, we will let you know just like how we have, have everything we're going to do. Like, um, like you can find us like on Facebook and, and, and we'll, when we put it out, you'll, you'll definitely know everyone in Shreveport will know. Okay. You gonna know. Okay. Well, cool, man. That pretty much just wraps it up, man. Cute a second. I appreciate you coming through and hey, Wolf, dog. the woods. I appreciate you, I dog. I know why, baby. You know, we got work coming. All right, brother. Absolutely. <laughs>